Hello everyone, happy to see you here and really interesting exponential equation today, a to the x minus 2 to the x in our numerator and 6 to the x minus 3 to the x equal to 2 and we need to find our x and I hope you will enjoy this video so let's try to solve it step by step and let, let's go right here. So first of all we have all different bases 8, 2, 6, 3 and equal to 2 right here so it's really good to create the same base yeah but how can we do this let's try to create the same base if it's possible of course yeah so we have 2 and we have 8 it's really good because 8 can be written as 2 cube yeah to the power x minus 2 to the x equal to 2 right here and let's go from our to our denominator yeah 6 to the x and 3 to the x yeah what about 6 we can write it as 2 times 3 and this is really great to the power x minus 3 to the x equal to 2 yeah so this is our first step we write this 8 as 2 cube and we write this 6 as 2 times 3 yeah i hope you understand this step and let's go to the next step we need to know a power rule right here because if we read this like that we need to multiply it 3 times x so 2 times to the power 3x minus 2 to the x equal to 2 and in our denominator we will have like 2 to the x times 3 to the x because this is a power rule if we want to raise a product you need to raise all elements so 2 to the x times 3 to the x and minus 3 to the x of course minus 3 to the x in the end equal to 2 yeah so we have this expression we just raise to the power x and right now if you look right here we have 2 to the power 3x so it looks like 2 to the power x cube or we raise this like 3 we have this 2 to the x three times so we can easily factor one time so 2 to the x if we factor it in parentheses we still have 2 to the power 2x one time and minus 1 from here so minus 1 we factor it all over in our denominator we have like 3 to the x we need to factor if we factor 3 to the x we will have like 2 to the x minus 1 yeah minus 1 equal to 0 I hope you understand this step we just factor 2 to the x from our numerator and 3 to the x from our denominator okay and right now really interesting expression in our numerator because I have 2 to the power 2x and we can write it as 2 to the power x so this is the same but we can write this expression as 2 to the power x square and moreover 1 can be written as minus 1 square and why I write it? Because right here we'll have a difference of two squares. And this is really interesting and, and important formula. 3 to, 3 to the x and in parentheses 2 to the x minus 1 in our denominator. Yeah? So in our numerator I write this formula 2 to the x square minus 1 square. So this is like a square minus b square. This is our identity formula. So we can easily write it with this formula right here. So a square minus b square which is equal to we will have like a plus b times a minus b so we can easily apply this formula in our numerator yeah so we will have like 2 to the x 2 to the x and then in parentheses we have like 2 to the x plus 1 2 to the x plus 1 times 2 to the x minus 1 applying this formula yeah and we divide it by 3 to the x times 2 to the x minus 1 yeah the same from our denominator and really interesting moment because 2 to the x minus 1 and 2 to the x minus 1 we can easily cancel and this is really great so what expression we still have right now we need to mention that 2 to the x minus 1 is not equal to 0 because we canceled it we have it in our denominator so 2 to the x is not equal to 0 then 2 to the x is not equal to 1 and x is not equal to 0 this is the first step we need to mention when we cancel this expression and moreover from here if x equal to 0 we have 1 minus 1 so we can easily start with this but we find this x not equal to 0 in our this case okay what we what expression we still have right now we still have like 2 to the x after this canceling we have 2 to the x in parentheses 2 to the x plus 1 we still have with with the plus sign and all over all over 3 to the x yeah all over 3 to the x okay I hope you understand this step equal to 2 and let's multiply both sides by 3 to the x if you multiply it by 3 to the x both sides we cancel from this one and we will have like a more simplifying step we have 2 to the x times 2 to the x plus 1 equal to 2 times 3 to the x yeah <clears throat> we just multiplying both sides by this 3 to the x and right now what are we going to do next 
Right here we have two, so we don't need this two. And let's divide both sides by these two. And I don't want to, don't want to write this expression once more. So let's divide from here by two and from here by two. And one really interesting moment. From here we cancel this, but right here we can easily we have two to the first power. If we bring this to our numerator, we will have like two to the power x minus one because we bring one to to the power minus one to our numerator. So we'll have like two to the power x minus one times two to the power x plus one equal to three to the x. Yeah, and this is maybe our final final expression right here because right now we cannot like simplify this more. And let's try to divide our our answers by three three lines. So let's go with the first one. So let's suppose that our x is greater or equal than two. Yeah. What we will have as a result? We will have like if x is greater than two, I, I will write this expression once more, two to the power x minus one times two to the power x plus one equal to three to the x. Let's suppose that x is greater than two. If x is greater than two, we will have like two to the power number that is greater than two. We have two, three, four, like a lot of numbers. So this is our even number when x is greater than two. 2 to the power x plus 1, what can we say about this expression when x is greater than 2? This is our odd number, because we have like even number plus 1, this is our odd number, yeah? Okay, I hope you understand this step. And 3 to the x when x is greater than 2, this is always odd number. So what we have as a result? Even times odd, this is even number, if we multiply it, this is even number. And on the right hand side we have odd number. Odd odd number. So even is not equal to odd. So when x is greater than zero, we will have no, no solution right here. No solution. Let's go next. When x is equal to one, because we have like, we have a positive one, two, three, four, like to, to infinity. And we have like the second case when x is great, equal to one. When x is equal to one, we will have like, I write this expression once more, two to the power x minus one times 2 to the power x plus 1 equal to 3 to the x. I write this expression once more right here. So if you plug in 1, 2 to the power 1 minus 1, in parentheses 2 to the power 1 plus 1 equal to 3 to the power 1, yeah? So we will have like 2 to the 0, <coughs> 2 to the 0 times 3 equal to 3. So 1 times 3 equal to 3, so this is absolutely correct. So our 1 is the first solution to this problem. But let's check the next one. So we know that x is not equal to zero, x equal to one, and we check when x is greater or equal than two. Yeah, so we have, we check zero, we check one, we check uh, two and uh, three, four, five, like to infinity, to plus infinity, and we need to solve when x is negative one. <clears throat> because if, if x is negative one equal to minus n, for example, n is positive, we can write it in this way because n is negative one, n is positive. We will have like the next one. Let's simplify this a little bit. Let's write it in another way. Because we, if we have this expression, two to the power x minus one times two to the power x plus one equal to three to the x, yeah? <clears throat> if you plug in this minus n right here, so we will have like two to the power minus n minus one times two to the power minus n plus one equal to three to the power minus n. We just plug in minus n right here. And let's simplify this. Let's uh, bring minus behind this parenthesis. We'll have like two to the power minus n plus one the, in the first step. In the second step, let's bring this two to the power minus n to our denominator. So one to the power two to the power n plus one. And let's do the same thing. Let's bring this from our numerator to our denominator. So one over three to the power n. Yeah. So we have this expression. Let's go next. Let's bring this with minus sign to our denominator. So one over two to the power n plus one. Right here, let's add it. So two to the power n is a common denominator. So two to the power n. So we will have like two to the power n plus one in our numerator equal to one over three to the power n. So right here we add it. Right here we bring it to our denominator. So as a result, if we use cross multiplying, we will have like the next expression, three to the power n times two to the power n plus one 
equal to 2 to the power n plus 1. Yeah? So when n is positive 1, when n is greater or equal than 1, we will have like, when n is greater than 1, we will have like the 3 to the n is odd number. Yeah? This is, when n is greater than 1, this is odd number. Yeah? 2 to the power n plus 1, this is <coughs> even number because 2 to the, doesn't matter what power, this is even number, even number. So we will have like odd number times odd number is even number, which is absolutely incorrect because odd times odd number, we don't know information about this answer. This is, looks like odd number, yeah? And this is case, uh, is not work for us, so we reject when x is negative 1. So this is not good for us. So I want to write a line real quick right here because we check when n is negative 1, we have this 0, so we reject this zero right here. We check one, which is good for us. We check two and greater than two right here. So we reject two and greater than two. We reject all these roots. And we check all negative ones. So we reject all negative roots. So we still have only one integer root right here, which is absolutely good for us and absolutely correct. So our answer, x is equal to one. This is our solution to this to this problem. If you still have any question, write a question in the comments. Thank you for your support, for your likes, I really appreciate it. See you in the next videos. Write a question in the comment about this question and thank you for watching.